parents. If you haven't assessed test blind admissions policies, please add this aspect to it now. Test blind means that colleges are not even viewing SAT scores. It's beyond test optional. It's colleges, not too many of them, but a few now have said, we don't even want to see SAT or ACT scores. Now, what they replace that with is personal statements. Personal statements that show a hardship are ones that get rewarded. We see this from the big college system, the University of California, that's been doing this now for three years. And what kind of kid then gets admitted? The one who in a personal statement says, I was bullied as a child, or my parents neglected me as a child, or I suffered from widespread racial discrimination, or I had an untreated esophageal disorder. And now they show up on campus. Whether they were sincere or not, these are not the kind of kids you want to be around. I think when they're insincere, which happens probably more often, but because it helps you get in and there's no verification of truth on personal statements, they just read it and take the student at her or his word. These liars, these embellishers get in and they become the classmates to the few normal kids who don't realize it or do realize it and, and, and want to come and maybe change the world. Don't go there. Don't send your dollars to have your kid surrounded by this type of kid. I'm not going to say student because these are not serious students. They're not ones who want to tout their merits from grades, from honors, from SAT and ACT, which they can't. So you end up paying for a wasted education. To me, the most important part of undergrad are the students who surround you, okay? Grad school, that can be different. The professors, the equipment, the, grad, the grants that grad students get, okay, that's a different story. But number one at the high school and the undergrad level is who is surrounding you. And by going to a test blind school that's elevating other not so nice things, you're putting yourself into a bad situation. You're paying for it. You might be paying to make your kid worse off. Please triple think this if your kid has applied to, and especially if now applications have been acted on, it's April and has an admission from a test blind school. Please visit for sure, inquire a lot, and triply think over whether you want to spend four years in that environment.